Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and as you guys have probably noticed in my recent live streams, we've been going for some white-tailed deer quite a bit on Leighton Lake, so I decided that today we would go for some elk and black-tailed deer instead, because it's been quite some time since we've got a diamond of either of those, so I definitely want to see if we can get something decent today. I'm going to spend a few hours trying to grind these guys out, and hopefully by then we can get something at least half decent. But if not, I do have a clip from one of the recent live streams that I might insert into this video if I don't get anything good by the end, but hopefully we'll get something. So once this guy lifts his head, we will go ahead and take him out. But while I'm thinking of it, be sure to hit that like button because it does help the channel out an absolute ton. For those of you that don't know, the more likes and comments and even dislikes a video has, the more chances that YouTube recommends it to other people. So. If you enjoy any creator, doesn't even have to be me, be sure to like their videos. It helps out more than you guys could imagine. But with that being said, let's uh, <laughs> try to get another shot into this guy because I completely screwed that up. Uh, yeah. That was better, I think. I think that second shot was a little bit better. Okay, so there's another four. Let's take this guy out while we're over here. I don't think there was anything else huge in the area, so should be the last decent sized one. Although, actually, there's another four right there. There was a lot of fours here. A lot more than I initially thought. I thought we had one, and there ended up being three, so that's actually pretty lucky, and I'm really happy that I caught those two out of the corner of my eye. So, let's go get them all. All right, well, I think this is the second one that we shot. It doesn't appear to be the one that I was initially tracking, so let's just grab this guy. And yeah, 296 scoring level four. Very good looking bull, just below 300. And we did get double lung on him, so that is nice. Now, I'm hoping that we don't get the tracking bug, because that does happen around this lake quite a bit, but I'm gonna try and find the first one that we shot. and. If I can't find it, well, at least we have one more down. This guy ran a long way, so we definitely did not hit vitals, I'd say. Most likely non-vital hits, so it's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Not a super giant, only a 304. That is a good looking bowl, though. I really like the way this rack looks. So even though this guy's not a giant, he looks really, really clean. Very happy with that. Sad we screwed him up though. We were just, yeah, a little bit, a little bit too far back on the shot. I should have let it slightly more, but it is what it is. Let's go find that third one that we shot. Yeah, this third one we dropped on the spot, so that doesn't look like it was vital though, so I think we probably spine shot it, and yeah, it was a spine shot. 296 though, this guy is about the same as the first one. It looks like it at least, but still level four. We want to get as many of these down as we can for respawn, so hopefully one of these will come back as something good. That right there is a leucistic. We need to take that out. I almost forgot to hit record, but I did manage to get the recording started, so we got ourselves a leucistic mallard. That's really, really cool. It's only a level two and a lower weight level two at that, but... It's been so long since I've seen a leucistic one, so I am more than happy to get that. That's very cool. And here it is. Here is this little leucistic mallard. That is really, really cool. I've always loved how these guys look. They're one of the coolest looking birds in the game. Absolutely awesome. Such a cool variation for the mallard. But let's go ahead and pick this up and see what it scores. Will it be a gold? It's only a silver, but regardless, that's really, really cool. 14.70, so it's a bit off gold, actually, quite a bit, but still really nice. I'm definitely happy with that, so let's continue on. At least we have something decent. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> very, very close to where I got that leucistic. In fact, it's only been about maybe 60 seconds, and... There's a level three right here. That is pretty crazy. We had been taking out mallards on the last couple streams and it's looking like it's paid off because we do have a level three. And 
I didn't even know mallards could be where that leucistic was, so who knows how long that thing's been there, but this has to be a respawn, because I've been shooting these guys quite a bit the last couple days. So let's see if we can get this down. I don't remember where I need to aim for 240. I'm guessing it's going to be about there, but if we miss, we should have a second shot. Ooh, okay, so that was a barely miss. We are going to need to aim a little bit below that first dot, so... We'll let it calm down and then try to take another shot and hopefully this one will connect and we won't have to do it again. All right, it's attentive again. This should be good. There we go, we got it down. That is a level three mallard on the ground. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any elk around this area, which is what I was hoping to see here, but it is what it is, we got ourselves a couple really nice ducks instead, so still pretty successful I'd say. Also just real quickly I wanted to show you guys this area right here, I'm sure a lot of you probably already know about this area, but it's around High Lake on the right side of the river kind of, and look at the amount of need zones that are in this area. This is an absolutely fantastic part of the map just to get pretty much everything. I've had whitetail, blacktail, moose, elk, rabbits, and mallards all through this area. And I believe I've heard that you can get coyotes through here too, so this overall is just one of the best locations on the entire map for pretty much everything. And it really is just a blast to hunt here. And here we have it, a diamond mallard duck. Let's go ahead and claim this guy as he tries to run away from us. 20.20 .20. I believe 21 is max score so this guy's kind of average it's about in the middle of the scoring for the mallards so that's pretty cool I'm very happy that we were able to get at least something during this video because I was really worried that I'd spend like three hours going through the blacktail and Roosevelt elks and not find anything so at least we got these ducks to uh, make this at least somewhat interesting for you guys but that's pretty awesome. We're getting a, quite a bit of ducks for our lodge early on, actually. Uh, in the last lodge, ducks were the last thing that we added, but this time we've gotten a ton of them within the first few weeks of creating the lodge. So that's honestly really cool, and I'm happy that we've managed to get these guys. All right, so we got ourselves a level four right there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get him in time, but I'd like to if we can. There is one more four. Let's just take him, actually, because we know we can get him. I would have loved to have get or I would have loved to have got the other one but just wasn't able to get it in time it managed to get around that tree so little unfortunate but we got one of them at least so let's head over and grab that guy all right here is this buck right here this guy is a 157.90 so that's a decent one it's a good looking level 4 too I definitely like this one quite a bit and that's actually a really cool back tines on this guy. That's actually a really awesome buck. I don't think I've seen one like this. I actually really like that. Very strange buck. I'm going to save that one just in case I don't ever see one again because that's really, really cool. Okay, so that's actually a pretty good looking level four right there. We definitely want to take that guy out. 165 to 194. This very well could be a level 4 diamond. I don't know how commonly level 4s are making diamond, but that definitely could be one. And we got another decent 4 next to it, so hopefully we are able to get a diamond out of that guy. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait one minute. I think that's a melanistic. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh. I have never seen a melanistic blacktail deer. This is a trophy I have wanted ever since the game came out. And this is the first time I've actually got to see one in game. As far as I know, this is one of the hardest things to find in Call of the Wild. Next to the melanistic red deer male and melanistic white tail deer. And obviously the great one, but this is super, super cool. So I don't want to take this with the M1. Since this is such a special trophy, I think it's only fair 
we take it with the air rifle, which I do have on me. But I don't feel comfortable taking a 135 meter shot. So I think we're going to try to get to 100 if possible. He's honestly in the perfect spot too. So provided he doesn't move too much, this will be a perfect spot to take him out. Okay, I think this is doable. 114 shouldn't have too much drop. I think we should be able to get him. That looked perfect. That looked absolutely perfect. And it is. He's going down. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I can't believe that. Might as well take out that level 4 as a little bit of a bonus too. And now for the level 4 up here. I really hope this is a diamond. If it's a diamond, this is going to be one of the coolest things we have had happen in so long. A melanistic and a giant level 4 at the same lake. Let's hope it's a diamond. There we have it. That is vital blood. Let's go. We actually got vitals on it. I figured we did, but I just want to see this. Melanistic. Oh my gosh, it is. I was still second guessing myself slightly, thinking that it could just be shadows, but this confirms that this is a melanistic blacktail. And it's a decent level 3 at that, so that's so cool. And these guys honestly are one of the more unique looking melanistics. I'm kind of sad he landed in the brush like this though. Not really that good of a spot for pictures, but let's go ahead and claim this guy. This is such an exciting moment. 12950 melanistic blacktail. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in this game. And this guy is slightly different on both sides. He's got four times on that and three times on this one, although it comes out as three by three, which I mean, it's not really realistic, but I mean, I guess with Blacktail, you don't count the uh, brow tines. And I guess this tine right here is not super long. So actually, I guess that does make sense, but that's really cool. That's a really good looking rack for a level three. So we got pretty lucky on that. And this is by far one of the coolest trophies I've ever taken. Such a beautiful Blacktail deer. Wow. All right, well, and that was the first thing that I harvested since restarting my game to get respawns. I can't believe that we got that guy so soon after recording. I think we're about an hour and a half, maybe two hours into recording. And this is the third pass that we've made through. I went through killed off quite a bit. As you guys saw, we got the one level four black tail along with a few Roosevelt Elk level 4s. Second run through, I didn't really have much luck, nothing worth recording. And third run through, this is the first two things we see. Hopefully we'll have a diamond out of this level 4 here. But my gosh, I am so excited that we got that Melanistic. All because we took out the level 4 Blacktail at this area. But here is this guy right here. I don't think this is going to be a diamond now that I'm looking at it. Uh, it doesn't have any back tines, but 170, that's still a good one. Very solid buck. Not too bad at all. But honestly, I don't even care. We got a Melanistic, and that's really all I was hoping for out of these two trophies. So let's go into the lodge and check this guy out. It is now time to replace this Melanistic Axis deer with our Melanistic Blacktail. That is so cool. Eventually, we're going to have to get a mountain lion to put with this in a multi-mount. That is so cool. Definitely the coolest looking melanistic of all. I'm so happy right now. After three years plus of looking for one of these, we finally have one. And it just happens to be a pretty decent looking one too, which is really nice. We also have those mallards to hang up. So let's go ahead and get those guys up in here. We'll put the leucistic one right here. 
Actually, no, we actually don't want them in here. Uh, we do want to save those plaques for stuff like Axis Deer, Black Buck, etc. So we'll probably just toss these guys on some random mounts in one of the hallways. In fact, these will probably do fine here. So get the diamond one right here. And then we will put the leucistic one right here. Absolutely beautiful looking ducks, but obviously I don't really care too much about the ducks anymore after getting that melanistic. So one last time we will take a look at this guy. Absolute amazing trophy. I'm so excited and so happy to have found one finally. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We accomplished something that I never thought I would accomplish today, and I honestly couldn't be happier. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. It does help YouTube recommend my video to more people. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Scare Crew today. I post daily the Hunter videos along with other classic hunting games like Cabela's, Deer Hunter, all of the old goodies. So I hope you guys enjoy any of that and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!